And this is how you can make an advanced customizable welcome message for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go and get into the video. Alright, so before we actually start with the code, go ahead and create a schema called welcomeschema.js, and go ahead and include these values. You're going to want to include the guild, the channel, the message, and the reaction, all of which are going to be set to a string, and you're going to go ahead and call it welcome schema. Now, if you don't have MongoDB set up already, go ahead and watch a video in the description below to get that set up so we can actually proceed, and after you're done with that, so we can go over to moderation, and we can go ahead and create welcome.js. In here, we can start by doing cons. We're gonna go ahead and get our slash command builder. We can go ahead and get our embed builder, and we can also get our permissions bit field, and we can also get our channel type. And then we can do equals require, and we can go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can do cons welcome equals require, and we're gonna go ahead and do dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas, and we can go ahead and get our welcome schema. And then after doing that, we can do module.exports. We can do equals. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be welcome and we can go ahead and set a description saying manage your welcome message system and we can go ahead and add a sub command and we can do command arrow function command us at name this is going to be a setup and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say set up your welcome message system and we can go ahead and add a channel option so we can do option arrow function option us at name this is going to be our channel and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the channel for your welcome message and we can go ahead and do add channel types and we can do channel type guild text and we can also go ahead and set require to true. We can go ahead and add a string option this time. We can do option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be message. And we can go ahead and set a description. And this is going to be the message. And we can also go ahead and say use. And we can do member in curly braces to ping the member. And, and we can do member in parentheses to put in their username. And we can go ahead and set required to true. Then we can add another string option. This time we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name. And this is going to be our reaction. And then we can go ahead and set a description. And we can say the reaction for your welcome message. And we're going to go ahead and set required to false for this because we do not need a reaction that is optional. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and add another sub command. So we can do add sub command. We can do command arrow function, command us that name. This is going to be disable. We can go ahead and set a description and we can say disable your welcome message system. Then we can go ahead and add a comma right here. We can do async execute. We can go ahead and get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we can do const. We're going to go ahead and get our options and we can set that to equal interaction. We can say if no and we can do interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we can do our permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator and then we can just go ahead and return awaits interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to use this system and we can go ahead and set informal on that to true then we can do const sub equals options dot get to sub command and we're also going to get our data so const data equals await welcome dot find one this is going to be our guild which is going to be our interaction .guild.id. Then we can go ahead and switch. We're going to get our sub and we can go ahead and open this up. We can get our case, which is going to be set up. And we can go ahead and add a colon and come down here. And we can say if data, we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and return await interaction or apply. And we can say content and we can say it looks like there is already a welcome message set up for this server. And we can go ahead and set informal to true. Then after doing that, we can say else. We're going to open this up. We can do const channel equals options that get channel. That is going to be our our channel variable or our channel channel basically uh, and then we can do const message equals options that get string and that is going to be our message string and then we can also do const reaction equals options that get string and that is going to be our reaction string as well then we can do await welcome dot create and we're going to go ahead and get our guild which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id and get our 
channel, which is going to be our channel.id, and we can get our message, which is going to be our message, and we can also get our reaction, which will be our reaction. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and create our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder, and we're going to go ahead and set a color. For me, I'm going to do green, and we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and open up some emojis here, and here I'm going to go ahead and get that staff emoji, the Discord staff emoji, and we can say your welcome message is now set up when a member joins the message and we can do backslash tick we're gonna get our message we can do another backslash tick and we can say will be sent in and we can go ahead and get our channel then we can go ahead and send this so we can do awaits interaction dot apply and we can say embeds and we're gonna go ahead and get our embed and we can also go ahead and set formal to true as well so then after doing that we can go ahead and break we're gonna get our case which is going to be disabled we can add a colon and we can come down here we're going to say if no data this time, we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and return await interaction to reply. And we can go ahead and say content. And here we can go ahead and say it looks like there is not a welcome message set up for this server yet. And we can go ahead and set informal to true. And we're going to go ahead and say else. And we can go ahead and start by doing await welcome dot delete many. And that is going to be our guild, which will be our interaction dot guild dot ID. And we can go ahead and write out our embed. But for me, I'm just going go ahead and copy the embed and the send message from above because it is basically going to be the exact same thing so in here we can go ahead and delete this we can say your welcome message is now disabled and will no longer be sent and we can go ahead and keep that send the same but i'm going to go ahead and change the color to red because it's a disable message and not a setup so after doing that we're done with this part of it so we can actually go ahead and move over into our index.js and here at the very bottom, we can go ahead and start. So I'm just going to go ahead and say welcome. So we know what we're working with here. We're going to go ahead and start by doing const welcome. And we can go ahead and do equals require. And we can do dot slash. We can get our schemas and we can get our welcome schema. Then we can do client dot on. We're going to get events dot to guild member add. We can do async member arrow function. We're going to go ahead and open that up. We can do const data equals await welcome dot find a one. That is going to be our guild, which will be our member dot guild dot ID. And we can say if no data, we can just go ahead and return and we can say else we're gonna open this up we can do const channel equals await member dot guild dot channels dot cache dot get we're gonna get our data dot channel then we can say const msg equals await channel dot send we can get content and we're gonna go ahead and open this up we're gonna get our data dot message and then we can do dot replace we can open this up we're gonna go ahead and get our member in that curly braces because if the user put in the member in curly braces it means that we want to replace that with a ping so we're gonna go ahead and ping that member so then we can do a comma here and we can just go ahead and put in our member and then after doing that, we can go ahead and do dot replace again, and we can go ahead and get our member in parentheses this time. And we can do comma, we're going to do member dot user, that username, because if they put member in the parentheses, they wanted it to be the member's username. Uh, and then we can go ahead and catch an error. So we can do catch error, and we can just go ahead and do nothing like that. Then we can go ahead and try, and we can open this up, and we can do away to msg dot react. And we can go ahead and get our data.reaction. And then after doing that, we can just go ahead and catch an error just like this. So we can catch an error. And then we can just go ahead and open this up and return and do nothing. Because if we do have an error, there's nothing that we need to do about it. We can just not send that message. So after doing that, we are done with this entire system. So we can actually go ahead and save both files and restart the bot to test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. But before we do, I'd like to say that if you'd like to add my new project, Automate, to your servers, feel free to do so. The link will be in the description below. Uh, this bot has everything automated, including this exact system we set up. It's an automated bot. It has auto reactions here. It has auto welcome message. I am working on a trigger system. It is in public beta. If you'd like to add it, feel free to do so. Like I said, link will be in the description, but we can actually go in and do welcome so we can get our setup. We're going to go in and get our channel, which will be the vids channel, and we can go in and get our message. So we're going to go in and just test out this all in one so we don't have to do it again. So we can go in and get our member and we can go in and say welcome and we can go in and get member. So that's going to go in and ping the member. And then after that, we can just go ahead and do testing, testing, whatever. And we can go in and put in our member uh, this time as well. So basically, this message is going to ping the member here. And it's also going to put in their username here. So next, we can go in and get our reaction. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose a reaction in here. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'll just do the bird reaction. Um, but obviously, it's not going to be able to react if the reaction is not in the server or a server that the bot's in. 
So just keep that in mind. It will just go ahead and catch an error and do nothing. Um, but make sure you set this up with a reaction that the bot has access to. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and say your welcome message has been set up. And it's going to go ahead and say this message right here. And then it's going to go ahead and say it will be sent in the Viz channel. So we can just go ahead and test this out and join on an alt account. And as you can see here, after joining on an alt account, it's going to go ahead and say welcome and then the alt account. And then it's going to go ahead and say testing, testing, and then the alt account's username. So basically when we inputted uh, the member just like this and we did member here uh, doing that basically what it did was the bot took this and replaced it with the at and it also replaced it with their username so that's how we make it very very customizable so they can pretty much have whatever message they would like and still be able to ping and put in their username and also the reaction did work as well so that's so you can make an advanced welcome message for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video